Do you know how just in one second to have the multiple matches like in this example, where you have the different type of divisions of the helicopters and pressing on one of them you get the full list. Let's go and let's start to write our formula. In the section of helicopters for division, we are going to write the first name of our division. After that, the point is that in the first row, I wanna that it will be appeared the Sky Falcon helicopter, in the second it should be Nightwing. But the problem is, if you are going to use the standard VLOOKUP and index match, it is going to show us only the first row. For example, we write equal index and as the first value we have to indicate our array, array is the place where there is our answer. In this case we are going to select the whole column of our helicopters and press F4 to fix the cells. Secondly we choose the row number, in this case it's number 2, that corresponds to Sky Falcon. But if you drag the formula down, it is going to report the same name. And you have to change the row number manually, which is not our solution. To solve this issue, we are going to use our aggregate function. And the cool thing is, that is already pre-programmed formulas. As the first parameter that we are going to use to find our rows is the number 15, small. And the second option is number 3. We are going to ignore hidden rows, errors, values. The point is that small is going to find the first minimum number. But in this case, we are going to do in the way that we are going to find the first minimum position. For this reason, let's use our logical test. In the beginning, open two times the brackets. And we say, if the selected area, in this case it is divisions, press F4 to fix it, equal to helicopters for division, in this case Fenchful, press F4 to fix it, close the brackets. I just wanna show you which kind of the result we have. We select the specific code, press F9, as you can see, we have false, true, false, false, true, that corresponded to our positions. But the problem is that false in Excel is not readable, it is zero, and true is one. So the goal is to convert this false into errors that at the end will be ignored, and the true values will become the position number. So let's give the read to these false numbers. Press the Ctrl Z to come back and the thing that we are going to do is to divide that to itself. The question is, what is going to happen now? Just select the part of the code and press F9. As the result we have error, because we just dividing the false to the false, that means 0 dividing 0. And of course we have 1, that is true, because we are dividing 1 against 1. And the point is, that we are going to turn these numbers 1 into position. For example, in this case it is number 2, number 5, and so on. To do this, we have to use the row function. Just multiply row, open the brackets, select the column of division, press F4 to fix the cells, close the brackets. But I need to make some adjustments, because this row is starting from number 5. On the other side, I want that this range start to read from number 1 which means that I have to deduct the row of the header. Just write minus row, select the cell of our division, in this case it's A4, and press F4 to fix the cell. So, let's check the result. We select the code and press F9. Here we have error 2, error error 5, error error 8 9. That is exactly what we need. Let's complete the formula by adding the small value, in this case number 1. And as the result our Sky Falcon has the position number 2. But if you drag the formula down, it is going to give us uh, for the next value all the time the number 2. So you need to change it manually. Let's happen that automatically, by adjusting a little bit the formula. Just cancel 1 and write the function rows, which means how many rows are highlighted inside of the range. Highlight the first reference position cell for our Sky Falcon, press F4 to fix it and divide it to itself. Be careful to not fix the second cell. Close the brackets and press the Enter. Drag the formula down. As you can see the position number of the rows is changing automatically. Our formula is almost ready. The next step that we are going to do is just to copy it 
and paste it into index instead of the row number. Drag the formula down. As the result, we get our six matches and then errors, because as you can see, there are no values there. So we have to get rid of them. In this occasion, we are going to use the if statement instead of the if error. Why if error is not good for us? It's just because uh, if error start to run the who formula and then say us if there is error or not. On the other side, if statement doesn't run the formula if the condition is not happened. So in the front of the index, we are going to add if and take the last part of the formula rows. After that, we add less equal count if. We select the cells of our division, press F4, and we choose the cell of our helicopters for division. In this case, it's fanciful. Just fix it. On the other words, we are going to check how many divisions have been repeated here. And if we have already found all of them, just simply don't run the formula. As the last part, at the end of the formula, just put comma, double quotes, and close the bar. It means that we are going to have the empty spaces in the parts where we don't have any value. Guys, finally we are going to check our formula. Press enter and drag it down. As you can see, our errors are disappeared. And the most important thing of this party is, if you change the name of the division, all helicopters of that division will appear in the helicopters for division section. We got our result. Guys, let's grow together. Just put your like and subscribe.